Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 15th, 2019. Man, it is hard to believe that half of May is already gone, and we have we have had a pretty challenging May so far. Uh, this whole trade uh, war situation has created quite a mess for the market to deal with, and there's been significant technical damage in the charts. But yesterday we had a beautiful broad base rally. It, it really spread out over the entire market. There was a nice little relief uh, bounce and we looked pretty good uh, during the day. Unfortunately, we had some selling right at the end of the day. A little bit of profit taking coming in as some of those folks um, uh, picked up some profits on the recovery but let's take a look at what the chart has to show us here and uh, we have a very interesting day that we we face today with a lot of data coming out so we'll want to keep an eye on this market pretty closely Overnight, we had Asian markets uh, showing uh, bullishness early on. Um, Asian, Asian markets recovered last night, just like we did here in the U.S., and our futures were bullish at one point in time during the night. But now that, uh, that warm and fuzzy feeling has kind of faded this morning and futures are pointing currently to a lower open they've been uh, bouncing around considerably here this morning and i would expect that to continue as earnings continue to roll out and we move toward uh, that big day on the economic calendar let's take a look here at what the chart shows us first off we notice that in this nice bounce rally we move back up and we're moving back into this resistance and congestion area in the chart right through here. So as we move up, we're gonna to wanna to keep, keep very close attention to these resistance points up here. And I think this one right here that I've marked in red is really the strongest resistance. And if you look across here, there is some significant levels right in there that we have to deal with. So. If I could draw this out as a as a really fat area, this area right in here is where I will be watching pretty closely for resistance to come into play. So as we approach that, we're going to need some significant energy um, likely to push through that area. I'm not saying it can't be done, just we need to pay attention to that very, very closely. We should also keep in mind that it's not at all uncommon after a relief rally, if we re relieve and move back up, that we eventually end up getting a retest of market lows. Now, it doesn't have to retest all the way down but a pullback to make a higher low or even that possible double bottom could be um, in play there um, on any kind of a test. We saw it right here. There's that pullback rally and a higher low. So we could see that occur here as well. We'll want to watch that pretty darn closely. And just kind of as you plan forward, just realize that as we move toward those resistance, resistance levels, we're going to have to think about that possible retest and um, you want to uh, plan your risk that you're holding accordingly. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, also in that same situation where we have a significant resistance level above. And this resistance level right in here is actually a fairly important resistance level if you take a look at this market top over here. So as we rally up to that, we're, we're going to have to respect this price resistance level and watch that pretty closely. And once again, I'm going to suggest that that level is not this nice thin line. It's actually going to be an area probably somewhere between here and that current line, somewhere in here. And as we rally up into here, if we start seeing those patterns for failure, then once again, we could see that dip back lower to retest those lows. So think about that as you plan your risk. Um, let's take a look at the cues. Cues very, very similar. 
pretty darn significant level of resistance right through here. And um, that could transfer up just a little bit higher. So we have that range in here again of that potential resistance. And this is that technical damage that I was speaking to. And this technical damage is across all areas of charts um, all over the place. So as we approach those resistance levels, we're likely going to need some kind of catalyst to move us higher. Let's remember this trade war situation is not going to go away anytime soon. So um, that's all we, that's going to be weighing on the market for a while. It is certainly possible that um, good earnings and good economic data can give us that catalyst to move up into those resistance areas. But whether or not we can actually push through those will be the question and so watch these areas up here as we move up if we start seeing patterns of potential failure um, don't be surprised to see that pullback to retest those lows let's take a look at iwm iwm did a really good job yesterday but i i, I do have a little bit of concern here with iwm and that is the fact that kind of floating in midair here. It didn't really um, come down and make a full test of a price support area. And it's perhaps that I've got my my price support area marked incorrectly too. You know, uh, just because I draw lines on the chart doesn't mean I'm 100% correct. But um, as, we, um, as we watch this chart, we'll have to be pretty darn careful as we approach this resistance level. And I think there is also in this one a bit of a range where we could test up in here and maybe move up here higher through some of this con little uh, congestion points um, in the chart. So we'll want to watch those pretty closely as we rally up. And if we if we start to see that failure up in here, watch for that retest or maybe IWM um, struggles in here um, with um, this kind of area where we're floating um, and possibly sees those sellers come in a little bit sooner um, testing that support. So watch that. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. Can't type this morning. Uh, the VIX, we have um, that situation where we've held this level of support, and that is a concern. As long as we continue to hold this level of support, we have that potential that f of fear coming back into play and that potential rally off of that point that could really bring in some panic if we saw some additional selling. You can see how we can really spike up off of that level. So hopefully the bulls can find inspiration this morning in the economic data or in the earnings data, and we can um, start rallying and see uh, the VIX continue to diminish in fear, dropping that back down. And hopefully drop it down through that low. That's what we want to see, pushing it lower. So as we move through um, <clears throat> through this chart, we're going to have to stay pretty focused on the fact that any kind of fear that comes into the market, if we bounce off of here, we could quickly make that move right uh, back up here. Fear could really increase quickly if um, that next thing that comes along, and I don't know what that next thing might be, that next tweet, that next news report that uh, gives the market that ugly bearish impression. So uh, watch that close. Hopefully we'll just see that, that fear slowly begin to diminish. We can break that support and move on uh, down if the market chooses to uh, find that rally. Let's take a look at um, T2122. Now T2122 is just really one of those awesome indicators. Um, <clears throat> I've had the question before, where do I find this? And the only place I know you find this is, is in the TC2000 software. It's likely out there someplace, but I don't know of other places to find it. Um, and 
what I what you look for is these these ranges you can see as we get up here and we we get these high levels and we we have a bearish uh, reversal zone we we reach up here really high we overstretch and then the market sells off and 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 uh, profits uh, are taken and we move back down when we reach all the way back down into here we hit that bearish or excuse me, bullish reversal zone, and um, we have that opportunity to bounce. So that's really what happened yesterday. We um, we came down here, we hit this uh, bullish reversal area, didn't quite travel all the way through like um, I thought we might, um, down into to this area, but you can see we've bounced off of this level before, and we bounced up here really nicely, um, really f um, moving back up to about 50%. Now, what that means is, is T2122 isn't telling us anything here. It's not telling us which way we're going to go. What it is telling us, those we need to um, um, understand that we have opened, uh, we have a nice open door for continued upside move, but we've also opened the door for more selling. So we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that when we're kind of bouncing around in this mid-range anything is possible and, and perhaps it's that economic data that's going to help us move out of there so we'll want to watch this uh, closely let's take a look at that economic data um, today we have a, a, a big bunch of, of data coming out you can see here at 8 30 in the morning we have retail sales now retail sales um, has a really wide um, consensus right now where that might come in who knows if any of this china thing has has messed with that it's unlikely this number would show that uh, but we'll have to keep a pretty close eye on that if retail sales start to show any diminishment that could really turn the market bearish again if it happens to be bullish that could be the catalyst that we need to move higher and then keep in mind right after that uh, right after that retail sales we have the empire state manufacturing uh, report that can move us around as well but usually not as significantly as those retail sales and then following that we have industrial production that's also one of those big numbers that that can move us around today and as you can see we're not finished with that we have a fed speaker at 9 30 we have business inventories we have the housing market index and then then that eia petroleum status report you know that one can always move those oil, oil stocks around either helping or hurting the market uh, depending on whether or not they show a surprise build or a surprise Price decrease in oil supplies so watch that closely and then another fed speaker here at one uh, followed by the treasury international capital number at four o'clock which i don't expect to move the market at all but just keep in mind we have a full plate here on that economic calendar and a lot of things going on that really could inspire or hurt the market um, um, as those numbers come out so watch those closely this morning we also have a very, very full day on the earnings calendar with nearly 275 companies reporting today. Just a big, big group of earnings reports. And as they roll out, they will certainly affect um, how the market will be received. Now, when I started um, recording this uh, just 13 minutes ago, um, Dow futures were at about 50 points down. Um, as, uh, as I speak right now, we're down 70 points. So we've been bouncing around pretty significantly in that futures number as, this, as we wait for this data and as um, earnings data comes in. So be careful. Anything is possible here today. And remember that relief rally may have been just that, a relief rally, and we continue the selling Um uh, today. So and that's certainly possible. I don't want to see that happen. I'm not trying to predict that's going to happen, but that um, could be the case. So watch that closely as we move forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button if you happen to be watching this video over on um uh, Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, guys, every comment, uh, particularly on YouTube, you leave those comments on YouTube and, leave, and click those thumbs up buttons. It really helps out a lot in um, having the algorithm show these videos to more people.
So I truly appreciate and I want to thank every single one of you that take the time to do that. I try to answer all of those um, uh, those comments and it, it just means the world to me. So thank you very, very much for those who take the time um, to uh, leave those um um, nice comments. I truly appreciate it. Also, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you use in your um, social media. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that are actually looking pretty decent. And these are stocks that I just, I keep mentioning over and over and over here recently because they've shown up very, very strong. Now, yesterday, um, right way options, we took a position in Coca-Cola um, early on in the morning and Coke took off and spiked up. Now, a lot of traders took that, um, took that entry and ended up making 11, 12, 15%. Uh, um, and early on in the day and actually took that profit um, right out of the market first thing. So Coca-Cola had that big spike. Now it's pulling back and resting. But this this was kind of an interesting little kicker where we kick this um, higher here looking strong. This morning we're looking to open, uh, who knows, about where we closed, somewhere in there. If this rests or pulls back, remember we have a trend here that we're dealing with. If this moves over toward its trend, Coke still has that opportunity to move on higher. Now another, another um, um, soda company, um, PepsiCo, also had a very nice looking pattern yesterday, started to move higher, found some price resistance there by the end of the day when we saw that selling coming in. At, right at the end of the day, it was uh, up until then, we saw lots of bullishness in these charts. Now, whether this consolidates or whether this fails right here, we'll have to watch. But right now, uh, PepsiCo um, holding up above its trend, still in a very nice pattern here. Very nice trend, something to watch for in the market and, and remember both of these are consumer defensive stocks so if the market starts to fail these are the kind of stocks that may start to hold up and 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 attract buyers as folks uh, move to relative safety um, in the market they will look to these uh, dividend paying companies for that relative safety uh, one more of that is mdlz i don't know if you guys um um, I, I have mentioned MDLZ several times. I can't type this morning. MDLZ holding up really, really well. It started to move nicely higher yesterday. Found a little bit of selling um, there at the end of the day, but held up pretty darn well, looking good, and um, something we would want to keep an eye on um, in the chart. A little bit different chart that I'm going to uh, show you guys is, is a chart. This is uh, a chart that we call a round and bottom breakout pattern. That's where we break above that 50-day moving average. And this chart is really, even though it pulled back yesterday is really starting to shape up for me. I need a buy signal in here to occur, but this is one of those patterns that I just absolutely love. And it's one of those patterns that pays off over and over and over. If you need more information on that, get a hold of us. We uh, This is one of those patterns I trade over and over and over again. And WW is starting to look like we're going to hold above these moving averages. And what we have here is a bit of a moving average squeeze. All of this little support is starting to show up right in here. Notice that that 50-day moving average that has been diving very quickly has started to turn. And as we pull back here in this price action, we gapped above, pull back in this price action, we're looking for a price support area right in here. And if the stock finds that price support, then we would look for those buyers to step up. Right now, as you can see, I've placed a price alert. This pink line here is a price alert. So the stock's got some work to do. And I'm not suggesting that it's going to just take off right here. As a matter of fact, this trend line that I've put on here, I have no basis for this trend line this is one of those that I that I put out here I'm waiting I'm waiting for the stock to show me something it's possible that that we could fail here and this is just a, a no win uh, trade a failed pattern but I think um, it, it's very very likely that this could rest or consolidate right in here as long as it holds above this price support area we would watch for this chart to maybe start to make that move higher and then we have this nice open gap in here to fill great possible um, profit potential in this chart. So I'm going to be watching this fairly closely. 
um, just a little clue here. If I get a few resting days in here, say for example, I get three or four little doji candles resting days in here moving over toward the trend, I will actually move my price alert from here down to here waiting for that buy signal to maybe pop up in, in here giving me that entry into the trade so um, i'll watch that closely but just a little bit of technical work there and i thought you might appreciate just kind of learning about a pattern here in the morning video so with that everyone I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. If you're struggling as a trader, this is a challenging market. Remember, you don't have to trade every day. Um, it's okay to back off and try to practice a little bit more to try and rebuild that confidence if you've been struggling and maybe losing money here. Um, trading is a challenging, challenging business. And it will press you and push you in ways that you would never have expected, challenge you in ways that you would never have expected. But what I want to encourage you to do is to never give up. Keep working toward it uh, because it will eventually get easier. And... Um, Believe me, guys, if 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 an old carpenter like me can figure this out, you can too. I've been able to do this now for 14 years full time and I'm heading in on 15 years and how cool that is to um, be able to have the, the lifestyle of a trader. I highly recommend it. So never give up on that dream. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have an awesome day. I wish you all the best and we'll talk to you bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one. Thank you.